For decades, a longtime Mitchell Bar is closing and a different kind of business is moving in. An eye on Kettle Land, Whitney Folks looks into the history of the Longhorn Bar and looks ahead to the future of the location. The Longhorn Bar was a family business for more than 40 years. Since I was six years old, uh, the Longhorn was my daycare. You know, we grew up in there and um, I remember not being able to see over the bar and going and getting my own pop out of the pop gun and just, you know, a lot, a lot of memories. Over the years, the Mitchell business has been through some hardships, including a wall collapse. It was old and, you know, it just, uh, it collapsed and it was a bad deal all around. Not too long ago, Bates made the decision to sell the family bar that held a lot of memories for him and his dad. I think it was a little sad for him, uh, a little sad for me too, because I grew up, you know, in the Longhorn. Uh, since I was six years old, I think, uh, you know, but as far as business goes, I think he understood that I, it was what's best for the longevity of Big Dummies. Big Dummies is the other bar that Bates owns. It's right next door. In the bar business most of my life. Uh, after I graduated from Dakota Wesleyan, uh, I left town for a few years, and then when I came back, um, I opened up. Uh, I ran his bar and then I opened up Big Dummies. Right when Bates was looking to sell, Luis was looking to move. Just perfect timing. He happened to be looking for a building right at the time that I was uh, looking to sell. Gilbert Luis started West Coast Tacos after a comment a friend made. We were barbecuing at, uh, at my house and somebody, uh, one of my girlfriend's, her girlfriend's husband came and he was eating and he was asking me how I made the meat. You know, he wanted to know where. You know, I made it so like that, and I told him, well, this is a seasoning that comes from California. He started off across the street from the Longhorn thanks to a suggestion from that same friend. He told me that there was a little kitchen, possibly could be for rent, next to Dr. Lucky's. And then so we went over there and talked to the owner of the bar, and, and he said, uh, sure, you know, why not? Luis is currently adding his own style to the location with Lacey Items help. I started this week. It's a little rough right now. I'm trying to... Um, get some details together and um, make it look more representable. Doing all new painting, um, putting new floors, um, but yeah, it's just just pretty much doing a facelift, really. So this wall, and then there'll be two small murals on the other side, and then there's that big wall when you walk in. Eventually, we're gonna put some cool stuff on there. But Luis is still leaving the old Longhorn Bar. Uh, this this bar counter is actually older than I am. It used to be in a, the Longhorn Bar was in a hotel that burned down probably, I'm guessing, in the 60s. And this uh, bar came from that bar. They grabbed a couple kids' skateboards and wheeled it across the street. Bates has been keeping an eye on the progress. I'm right next door. I come back and forth and snoop and see what he's doing. That's led to a unique partnership. We're going to team up. You know, I'm going to sell the tacos. He's going to sell the, the beer. And the alcohol, and then he has a big uh, patio here in the middle of both buildings. So you'll be able to come here, order tacos, and then you'll be able to go to his side and order the beers, and then you can go sit outside and eat the, your tacos and drink beer. But their bond between bars and burritos has already begun. Gilbert, could you tell him to stop that, please? <laughs> we're, we're recording, bud. I'm famous. I'm, I'm famous. Quit it. It may not be family, but these men are hoping this newfound friendship is the foundation for a pair of successful businesses. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Whitney Fowkes. To find out more about the bond between bars and burritos, you can check out their Facebook pages, which we'll have listed in this story on Kelloland.com. Well,